sort it out. to look back in the videos and see when I started these broccoli seedlings and onions here but it's definitely time for them to go outside all right so I look back into my notes and I planted these seedlings on um, July 29th along with um, a few other ones that I had did over here um, which are not doing well at all um, we've had rain on top of rain on top of rain and yeah these I started what's that August 9th that one didn't uh, germinate but this one did so I'm gonna plant this one in the garden today and these beans I'm gonna plant that one in the garden today I really haven't done much out here um, I did take out this uh, yellow pear plant I got a, a pepper oh. All right, so the banging that the neighbor was doing was breaking my concentration. So, um, it's very important stuff going on over here as a YouTuber. Psych, no. Um, but yeah, it, it was kind of breaking my concentration. So, here I am just um, harvesting these shishito peppers so that I can break this plant down and get it into the compost bin into the compost bin you go get this thing open and, and I need to get in here and clean all of this out I still have absolutely no idea what's eating the leaves but we've got peppers coming. Um, one that didn't make it for whatever reason. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in here and give this whole thing some love. And um, yeah, I'm gonna take the last few tomatoes off of this and get rid of this plant. Uh, let's see what else here I have. If I can get. Over here, I've got beans growing up this corn stalk. Um, it's just something that I wanted to give a try. We don't have any beans growing as of yet, uh, but we do have flowers on here. Um, I know this is going to need more support than just the, the corn stalk itself, but I do have two uh, ears of corn, maybe that need to be harvested one here and one here so I'm gonna harvest those um got a ton of time down here so a bunch of weeds that need to be cleaned up like I said I haven't been out here in in a while um this bean plant I think needs to go um and I have another one coming up over here. Um, but the beans, once again, they're, they're, they're way too big. Um, I did grab a handful off of here the other day. Um, I've got collard greens coming up over there, but then a ton of weeds. Once again, I need to get in there. And here he is again with this banging. So, um... I'm gonna go and just do a do a voiceover but the main thing I need to figure out is how I'm going to support these beans 
um, that I have growing all up along this corn stalk. I'll figure it out. So as far as the corn, this one got choked out by that first plant that the, um, the beans started, um, the beans started wrapping around, but this one, we've got corn. So I think this one here makes a total of five ears of corn that I got this year. So I'm happy because again, this was my first year growing corn. So, yeah, all right, let me get, let me get back to what I need to do. I'm going to transplant these um, broccoli plant. I'm going to thin them and then transplant these broccoli. <sighs> Over here, um, for those of you that seen the video, this whole row here, I planted collard greens. Only this right here. Uh, germinated and then there's a little tiny tiny one right there um there was a ton of weeds um around it which i i cleaned out so um I i'm not worried about it i'm just gonna go in those empty spaces there and transplant this broccoli and um yeah
All right, it looks like it's gonna rain out here. <sighs> Unfortunately, I'm not even halfway done with what I need to do, but this quinoa is ready to be harvested. Um, some of it has already started to dry out on the, st the stalk, the stem. Um, <laughs> not started to dry out, it, it is dry. Um, I'm just going to harvest all of it and take it into the house where it can finish completely drying. And, um, yeah, I just don't want it to get wet anymore. for the day um these mosquitoes are vicious out here today they're not normally um you know it's usually average mosquito but it's been a lot of rain lately like I said earlier which is one of the reasons why I haven't been able to get out here um you know that and life but anyhow um let me take you guys through and uh show you everything that I did all right so I'm gonna start right here with this <clears throat> excuse me this zucchini plant which has some powdery mildew um, what I did was I sprayed it with a vinegar and water and dish soap solution so hopefully that'll take care of it um, here's the other uh, bush bean that I transplanted right next to this one here so once this one is done um, producing which it, it's got a ways to go then I'll have another one to um, you know to begin to harvest from I did not figure out a solution for um, for the uh, the pole beans but I I, I will figure something out um the next time I get out of here which will get out here which will be in a couple of days um but we got the broccoli transplants under here uh, here and back there and then we have the collard greens that did germinate and a little tiny one in there that germinated I decided to take the row covers from over there and put them here um one because these were um they were getting kind of uh too tall for the tent but anyhow um which i'm going to show you guys in a minute my my beets over there aren't doing too well so i did plant some more beet seeds in here um another bush bean there and a few things that i'm very happy about um i did not see you on there i need to get that thing that's the cabbage moth, moth that probably, actually, so let me segue, but that probably laid eggs on my beet tops. Now, you can see 
how chewed up all of the leaves are. And this very much looks to me like a cabbage worm got to it. Look at that. It looks very much like a, a cabbage worm. Because this whole thing was covered, um, you know, with row covers. But those little moths, they, they, they find their their way in so anyhow I did spray all of this down with BT um, but look at how my beets are already pushing up already um, they shouldn't be pushing up that much yet they're so small um, and I'm thinking I might have actually planted in this too soon um, for those of you that saw the video and, and a matter of fact it's not even I think I know I planted in it too soon I should have gave the cardboard underneath here um, more time to to um, break down but this is four inches here so I was like oh that's enough space you know to plant in even if the the cardboard because the cardboard is down here um, even if the cardboard isn't broken down but Anyhow, being that there's push, they're pushing up so early, I'm, I'm wondering if I planted a little early. Because um, this was originally supposed to be for spring. Uh, I might have talked myself into doing it a little too early. But anyhow, uh, the Swiss chard looks good. Carrots, this is my third season trying to grow carrots. So I'm not even going to talk about those right now. We'll, we'll get back into that. Um, at another time the dino kale here is looking good it's looking very good and the broccoli that I have in the center is looking good so back over here um, it looks like we're finally going to get peppers got tons of scotch bonnet peppers um, on this plant here so I will be making hot sauce um, yeah tons and tons of peppers finally you know that heat wave as I talked about several times in my videos had stunted the growth of all my pepper plants especially the purple peppers here um, these things stayed small for so long I didn't even realize it was three plants in here um, until earlier when I went to stake them up and actually I'm sorry it's four didn't even realize that it was four and yeah I should harvest this I'm gonna harvest this um, this pepper but yeah I, I wasn't getting any peppers they weren't growing it, you know the plant was you know only yay high from the ground um and it, it was just way too hot. Way too hot. Um, but anyhow, now it has tons of peppers all over it. And I'm going to have a nice harvest of purple peppers um, in a while. Same with this bean plant. I can get this off of here. I'll have to come back with some scissors. And, oh, there we go. Um... Heat wave came through, and this thing was like, Yeah, no, I'm not giving you anything. I, I think I had like four or five beans off of it. Um, so yeah, I had went in and planted another, another seed in here, which I always plant two seeds just in case one doesn't germinate, being that they both did, they both won't fit in here. Um, this one I'm, I'm gonna cut it back I'm gonna cut this and just let the new one grow in there um, that's where I'm just chucking soil over here I've gotten as much of these tomato plants cut down as would fit in the compost um, And yeah, I'm gonna come, when I come back out in a couple days, I'm gonna harvest all of this basil and add it to some basil that I've already harvested inside and uh, of course make a, a pesto or 
Oh, maybe I'll do something a little more creative than a pesto with it. We'll see. Um, but right now I put my eight hours in. I'm exhausted. And I can say no more. Thank you so much for once again watching Black Coffee Gardener. Um, tune into the next video for, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Oh, well, I know I have to take those tomato plants down, but that's a little boring. I don't think y'all want to see that. So the next video will probably be me um, cooking something. Um, being that I harvested so many shishitos today, and what else did I harvest? Those green tomatoes. Maybe we'll do some fried green tomatoes with like some type of uh, pepper sauce or something like that. Matter of fact, let's. Let's do that. Tune into the next video. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, if you haven't, subscribe, like, and all those good things. And I'll see you all in the next video.